hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows application how to create the crude operation create update and delete using C sharp now it's testing time start let's enter some values the name is Mohit Mohit at gmail.com and his salary is 1111 insert and here we got the message record is successfully saved okay see the Mohit Mohit at gmail.com and his salary is 1111 so let's check the table in SQL server And see here we got the results of these employee tables notice we got the name Mohit Gmail and the salary is 111 if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I have created a new project and the project name is a Windows Forms CRUD operation which contains a form 1 page before creating the designing and coding part let's visit the SQL Server Management Studio we'll check the table and the column names the table name is the employee table which contains 7 rows now I want to perform CRUD operation inserting, updating and deleting on this table let's switch back to the WinForms we'll first designing part and later we'll write the coding part let me expand this form 1 design page now in this form 1 design I am adding 3 text box controls, 3 button controls for inserting, updating and deleting and 1 data grid view control to display the records. Go to toolbox. All windows forms, I am expanding that one. Text box. second text box and the third text box I required only three text boxes name email and salary now I'm adding button controls go to toolbox button control F4 the button 1 properties and changing the text to insert the second text box con second button control F4 update the third one For delete F4 delete now I'm adding a data grid view control go to toolbox I'm expanding the data folder data grid view control Let's add some labels for this text boxes. Go to toolbox, label, F4, first one is a name, second label for email. The third label is for the salary. The fourth salary. That's it. We have done the designing part. Double click the form one. 
now in the code behind I'm adding some namespaces using using system.data.sql client and I'm adding the system.configuration namespace also using system.configuration and also we require the system.data which is already available by default system.configuration namespace is helpful to fetch the configuration settings from the app.config file after adding the namespaces now we'll add the connection string in the app.config file go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name of SQL server is after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name which is a sample DB test connection is succeeded okay okay and notice under data connections we got the sample db dot db is added now we need this connection string of this sample db right click that one go to properties in the properties the third option is a connection string which is a data source copy the whole part let's add this connection string in the app.config file go to solution explorer app.config file open that one Now in the app.config file, inside the configuration, I am adding connection string, add, name is equals to, I am giving proper name to my connection string, which is mycon connection string, I am pasting the data source connection string, which I have copied earlier, I am pasting here, provider name, which is a SQL server, system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the app.config file switch to the form1.cs now the main important is even when we have added the system.configuration namespace in windows application by default the system.configuration is not available in the project reference see the system.configuration is not available so we need to add the system.configuration then only we can access the system.configuration classes in our web form right click the references add reference here the system.configuration select that one okay After that, I'm creating a function private void display data. Now, in this function, I'm adding the connection string properties. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. Between double quotes, I'm adding the connection string name open app.config the connection string name is mycon copy that one and pasting here dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection i have created an object for the sql connection class now here inside i'm adding main con string sql query is equals to the SQL query is a select statement select start from the table name is dbo.employee copy that one copy this one pasting here let's open the connection string open method SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is a SQL query command text and the second parameter is a connection object which is a SQL con I'm adding here 
data table dt is equals to new data table SQL data adapter SDR is equals to new SQL data adapter which takes a parameter of SQL command object. After that, I am filling the data SDR dot fill method with the data table object. Now I am adding the data source to the data grid view control. Data grid view 1 which is the data grid view control id dot data source is equals to I am getting the data from the data table object dt and the last one I am closing the connection string sql con dot close method. After that I am adding the display data in the public form 1. That's it. Up to now we have getting the values in the data grid view control. Let's check the output. Start. And here we got the output. We got the text box controls, button controls and the table is binded in the data grid view control. Now let's write the code for the insert functionality and stop debugging. Switch to the design mode. Double click the insert button. It will generate the button click event for the insert button. Instead of writing again the connection strings, I'm copying this one up to here and pasting here. I'm deleting the select statement. Now here in SQL query, I'm writing the insert statement. Insert into the table name is a dbo.employee. Values, values are the column names. At the first column is a name. The second column is the email. Copy this one. And the third one is the salary. After writing the insert statement, SQL com dot parameters dot add with value. The first parameter I'm adding the parameter name. So the first parameter is the at name, the column name. Comma. And the second one is the object value. Here the object is the text box control ID. Text box one dot text. Let's copy this one. Let's add the second column name, which is email. Text box 2. The third column is a salary. The text box control is the text box 3. Text. SQL command dot execute non query method. Once the record is inserted successfully, I want to display the message. Message box dot show which takes a string parameter. Record is successfully saved. After I inserted the newly record, I want to update the data grid view control. So I am adding the display data function and the last one I am closing the connection string SQL con dot close method. That's it. Now it's testing time. Start. Let's enter some values. 
the name is mohit mohit at gmail.com and his salary is 1111 insert and here we got the message record is successfully saved okay see the mohit mohit at gmail.com and his salary is 1111 so let's check the table in sql server i'm executing this statement and see how we got the results of these employee tables notice we got the name mohit gmail and the salary is 111 now in my next video i will show you the update functionality